Hi friends, welcome to Buy Me Tips. You all have studied in the chapter Fundamental Unit of Life that plasma membrane is a selective permeable membrane. It means that it allows only certain particles to enter and leave out of the cell. So how does this molecular movement take place? Molecular movement in many organisms such as unicellular organisms like amoeba is very helpful in obtaining nutrients as well as for the exchange of gases and excretion. So this process, this whole process is called as diffusion. Now in diffusion we observe that this process of diffusion takes place from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. That is, the molecules from a region of higher concentration move towards the molecules of, move towards the region where the molecules are in very less concentration. So, in this class, we are going to see about diffusion. Welcome to Biometrics to all of you. molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. You might have seen this process in your day to day life such as burning of an incense stick. So whenever you burn an incense stick or spray a perfume in an empty room, you see that you spray the perfume only in one region. But how come the whole uh, room smells of the perfume or how come you are able to feel the smell of the incense stick in the whole room? This is because of the process of diffusion. Now when you see this process of diffusion, you can see another example where you take a beaker, take a beaker with water, okay, and add a drop of ink in only one place. Now, does the ink stay there itself? No, right? It obviously spreads to the, it obviously spreads inside the beaker and it forms blue color immediately in, within seconds, right? So, this spontaneous movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration is diffusion. So, this diffusion process basically we have, we have seen that the rate of diffusion is different among the three types of matter. We all have studied the three, uh, three types of matter that is gases, liquids and solids. So when you see in case of gases, when you burn an incense stick or when you burn a candle, a, a pleasant smell comes out of the candle inside the whole room or you can feel the pleasant smell of the perfume inside the whole room. So this means that the gases have very weak molecular attraction and that is why it is very easy to observe that very easy to observe that the molecules spread very fast in case of gases because of the less molecular interaction and in the liquids also considering water and ink you can see that the ink spreads inside the beaker very fast. It is very spontaneous. Again here, the intermolecular attraction is comparatively lesser than the solids. But in case of solids, the molecular attraction is very high. So that is why diffusion among solids takes place in a very slow pace. Now talking about substances that travel or, with, uh, or the movement of what type of substances takes place inside the cell. So considering the uh, concentration, considering the mass of the substances, we can say that ions or molecules, gases like carbon dioxide, oxygen and water, they easily move throughout the cell with the process of diffusion. So the concentration of carbon dioxide inside the cell now, you have studied that there are various processes that takes place inside a cell. So, we call those processes or those activities as cellular activities. Cell, cell itself is a, a whole unit or it's a whole 
complete organism. There are many organisms which are unicellular. So single cell can perform all the activities of digestion, respiration, excretion, reproduction, all these things. So obviously at the end of all the cellular activities, we see that the carbon dioxide gas is released. So this concentration of carbon dioxide gas is more inside the cell. So how does it come out of the cell? With the help of diffusion. So when you consider the carbon dioxide concentration inside a cell, it is much higher than that in the external environment. So you can see here that concentration of carbon dioxide inside cell due to the cellular activities is more than the concentration of carbon dioxide outside the cell. So the movement from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration is called as diffusion. Now we are going to see another type of movement which is very similar to diffusion. You might have heard about something called as osmosis but before that let me explain to you some of the important terms that is associated with this process. So you all know that a solution is made up of two components. One is the solute and the solvent. The one in which we are going to mix any particle or any substance is the solvent and the one which we are going to dissolve the substance that we are going to use is the solute. So in case of sugar and water, you take a beaker, you add some water and then to that you add 2-3 spoons of sugar. So the one which is already present, the one in which you are going to dissolve is the solvent that is the water and the substance that you are using to dissolve is the sugar. Okay. Now under this we will be studying three types of solutions which are very very important. We have three types of solution. One is the hypotonic, hypertonic and the isotonic. Hypotonic solution, it is a type of solution where the solvent concentration outside the cell is more compared to the solvent concentration inside the cell. Suppose you take dry grapes or resins and you place it in a beaker containing water the water will enter into the cell after certain time. So you see here that the dry resins which had no water at all are swollen now. That is because of the entry of water from the beaker inside the cell. So the solvent concentration that is the water concentration outside the resins was more. So this is called as a hypotonic solution. So here the dry resins will swell up. Now, under hypertonic solution, when you place a swollen grapes inside a beaker containing sugar solution, you see that the particles, the movement of the particles is from the cell towards the beaker because the solvent concentration inside the cell is more. Okay, since we have mixed sugar in water and we have kept it in the beaker and then we are placing a grapes which is already swollen, you see that the sugar level outside the cell is more while the water level inside the cell is more. Okay, so that is the reason that the water comes out. Okay, it comes out of the cell. Now the third one is isotonic solution. Isotonic solution is a type of solution where if you keep a resin inside for example grape juice or a grapes, normal green grapes when you place it inside a grape juice, you see there is no change because it has already reached an equilibrium stage. That is there is no more exit and entry of solute and the solvent. So it remains the same as it is. So these are the three types of solutions that we need to study in the topic osmosis. So what is osmosis? Osmosis is the movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane or a selectively permeable membrane. Okay. If you miss out to write this uh, semi-permeable membrane or selectively permeable membrane then it becomes the definition of diffusion. So osmosis is of two types. 
one is endosmosis and the other one is exosmosis the movement of molecules when they enter into the cell or the movement of molecules from outside to inside is called as endosmosis okay the word endo means inside within or inside okay and exosmosis is the movement of molecules outside the cell so the word exo means outside so the movement of molecules outside the cell is called as exosmosis now there exists another process called as plasmolysis plasmolysis lysis means breakage or separation okay the breaking or separation is called as lysis and the word plasmo is associated with plasma membrane so the shrinkage of any living cell okay when the living cell shrinks due to exosmosis due to the movement of molecules from inside to outside is called as plasmolysis so to summarize today we have seen what is osmosis so osmosis is the movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane and there is no need of any type of energy required so there is no need of atp or there is no need of any other material for providing energy in this process i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed then please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching my tips